Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to our 49th Starlink mission. I'm Andy Tran, and I'll be your host for today's mission. On screen is a live view of Falcon 9 ready to take our 53 Starlink satellites into space today. We've got quite an exciting weekend ahead of us with three planned launches. Starlink is set to lift off about eight minutes from now at 12.09 p.m. Eastern Time uh, at Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And today's launch will mark the first 13th launch of a Falcon 9 booster. The booster on screen has supported launch missions, uh, has supported limit missions such as the Transfer 2 mission, TurkSat 5A, GPS 3-3, and nine previous Starlink missions. And on screen right now is a view of our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, which is using its thrusters to maintain position in the Atlantic Ocean. After liftoff and following separation from the second Next stage, we'll be attempt. attempting to recover our first stage for a record-breaking 13th time. So this is a great view of historic pad 39A. This is where we launch all of our crew missions from, and this is where we send people to the moon from. Falcon 9, Starlink LD is go for launch. The launch director has given the final go for launch. All systems are ready. Let's watch as Falcon 9 takes our 53 Starlink satellites into orbit. T-minus 30 seconds. T-minus 15 seconds. Plus 37 seconds into the mission, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Launch Complex 39A, carrying our 53 Starlink satellites into space. Right, Moments ago, we began to throttle down the engines on the first stage in preparation for an event known as Max Q. This is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Awesome. Now that Max Q is behind us, we are throttling the engines back up to full power. Coming up are a series of events happening in quick succession. First is Miko, also known as the main engine cutoff. This is where all nine Merlin engines on the first stage will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next milestone, which is stage separation. During this event, both the, uh, the first and second stages will separate from one another. The first stage will make its way back to our drone ship and the second stage will continue its journey with second engine startup, or SES-1. During this event, the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will light up and propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites into orbit. And then shortly after SES-1, we'll have the fairing halves deploy and expose our Starlink satellites to the vacuum of space. First of those events is expected to happen uh, in a few seconds here. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. So as you just saw and heard, 
uh, we successfully had main engine cutoff, stage separation, uh, the second stage Merlin vacuum engine you see on the right hand side of the screen has successfully started up and we saw the two fairing halves deploy. While the second stage is doing its job, the first stage is coming back home to Earth. That is what you see on the left-hand side of the screen. It needs to execute two burns before uh, its 13th landing attempt on our drone ship. The first burn is called the entry burn. This is a three-engine burn that helps slow down the first stage for hitting the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And then the second burn is called the landing burn. This is a single-engine burn. That brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on our drone ship a shortfall of gravitas. Stage one landing burn. Stage two FTS has saved. So our landing burn has begun. It's a single engine burn. This is also the period where we'll deploy our landing legs. And here comes our first stage for the 13th time attempting to land on our drone ship. Stage one landing leg deploy. Flown and landed a booster 13 times.